Hi, I'm Paul from Sony. These are the world's first full HD digital binoculars. They have the ability to capture and play back 2D and 3D photographs and videos. The new digital binoculars are suitable for a wide range of different uses from sporting events, theater, to bird watching. The DEV5 digital recording binoculars support 2D as well as 3D photos and videos. 2D full HD recording is up to 50p for smoother motion. It also supports dual capture, which is also available so you can capture photos and videos at exactly the same time. The DEV5 digital video recording binoculars also supports optical steady shot active mode. With minimum handshake, you can view and capture the best images in 2D or 3D you get a 10 times more stable image compared to the binoculars without stabilization. It also supports quick autofocus, and with autofocus your subjects remain sharp in view through zooming, unlike conventional binoculars. Taking a look at the on-screen menu, shooting mode gives us the ability to select movies or photographs. We can then go back to the main menu and choose the camera or mic settings, and through here we can change features like the white balance, exposure, focus, shutter speed, white shift balance, low lux lighting, etc. and a number of other different features that relate to 2D or 3D camera settings both in photography and video mode including steady shot where we have image stabilization set to on or off. Face detection is also a feature which we can have within the photography or video settings of the binoculars and the microphone settings if we wanted to plug in an external microphone. Back of the menu, if we choose image quality size, this is where we can set the record modes and the frame rates for 2D or 3D photographs or 2D or 3D videos. These can be from 50p and a number of other different formats that are relevant. The playback feature enables us to play back our videos or our photographs either through the binoculars or through something like a television. Edit or copy mode enables us to delete or protect videos or photographs or copy them away from the binoculars elsewhere. And then finally the setup mode takes us through all the different media settings that are available to us including formatting our digital media, selecting which digital media we use, changing file number series, changing volume controls, and other internal administrative functions of the 3D recordable binoculars, including language settings, which can be set up initially or at any point in time we can change from a number of different languages that are available to us. Now let's take a look at the outside of the recordable binoculars. First thing we'll notice is we have a couple of record buttons enabling left hand or right hand to easily start or stop playback or take photographs. The power switch is still located in the middle. The zoom facility on the right hand side for zooming in and out of photographs or videos. And then the menu wheel on the left hand side. In order to adjust the IP settings we have a dial on the top which by pulling it out of its locked position and then rotating it left or right will adjust the distance between the eyepiece so you can get a comfortable feel when looking through the binoculars. Once you've got it into a position that is comfortable and fully focused, you simply press it back in in order to lock it in place. Fine tuning of the left or right eyepiece can be done by twisting the respective dial. Taking videos or photographs you require a memory card. This is located on the front of the device and you can put in an SD card or a memory stick into the slot. With regards to expandability and output you have an HDMI slot where you have an HDMI out, a USB out and an AV out. Next to it you have another panel which contains the microphone jack and the headphones jack. Other indicators that are then available to you, you have an illuminated section to show whether you are in photograph or video mode. You have a button which enables you to switch quickly from 3D to 2D. A mode button, a hot shoe, and a play button to quickly review the photographs or the videos you've taken. Also the 3D binoculars incorporate a stereo microphone that is built into the front of the unit. If we flip the device over, this is where the battery compartment is kept. It takes a V-type battery. To change the battery, we simply turn the dial, open the flap, 
and very easily eject the battery. Inserting the battery into the 3D binoculars is simply a case of aligning the battery with the left hand side, dropping it in place until it clicks, closing the tab, and then simply twisting the dial to lock it in place. And then finally on the base of the device is a screw mount which enables you to place the 3D recordable binoculars onto a tripod.